The Bushmen in the Kalahari Desert are the remnant of an ancient race. In many of their ways they live like Stone Age man, hunting game, gathering wild roots and berries. Their dry land is forbidding, but they have learned so well to use what it provides that they can live. The group you will see in this picture is at Gauchapan, indicated by the red circle on the map, near the eastern border of southwest Africa, 200 waterless, roadless miles into the Kalahari. These are the Bushmen of Gauchapan. They are a small, yellow-brown people. The men have all their belongings hung on their carrying sticks, their spears thrust under to distribute weight. Then come the women and the children. The women carry their babies in their cloaks, called karasses, made of the skins of animals. They are coming to the place where they will build their semicircle of little grass shelters, where they will live for a time until they move on again in their search for food. There are 38 people in this band, nine men, 12 women, and 17 children. Uma, the headman, will settle near the largest tree. Immediately, he comes to make the first fire. This shows the total time it took with one fire stick twirling against the other to bring the tinder to a smolder. Uma, the head man, on the right, is assisted by the oldest man in the band. The first fire is symbolic or ritualistic, always lighted by the head man. From it, each family takes a brand to start its own fire. Then the first fire is allowed to go out. Although no perpetual symbolic fire is kept burning, fire was not lighted again. Always, somewhere, there were coals to light the evening fires. 